Here are T-spine cars. T-spine or our thoracic spine, our upper back, from the mid back up before we get to our neck. This area here can be very tight and limit our overhead position. So we're gonna bring it through as full of a range as possible while trying to keep the bottom half or our lumbar spine under control as well as our breathing. It presents a real challenge if you do it very thoughtfully and intentionally, which is how I'd like you guys to do them. We're gonna start with a little cross over our body. So just give yourself a hug. And then from here, I'm gonna make my belly tight and I'm gonna flare around my upper back without bringing my entire back along. So I'm not rounding my entire back, I'm just trying to keep this tight for the belly tight and round the upper back. I'm gonna take a breath here just to feel the position. That's the first step of your T-spine car. Then you're gonna add rotation. So how far can I rotate in one direction while keeping my belly button facing the same area? So I've added rotation to this first flex position. Okay, then rotate. I can already feel my oblique is working really hard to hold me here. Now I'm gonna add lateral flexion, AKA side bending. So I'm gonna land or bend to this side. Now I'm really wound up in a position. I should feel plenty of tension. Belly still tight, belly button still facing forward. From here, I'm coming up into extension. At this point, belly is tight. I'm thinking about drawing my sternum to the ceiling without bringing everything along or without leaning back. So how proud can I make my chest? I work around and this is gonna be the mirror position of the other side. I'm gonna dip to that same side and then I'm gonna round again back to the front. That's a broken down slow version. And it's likely how, how you'll begin to practice these T-spine cars until you find an area where you might feel particularly tight. So say I went into that lateral flexion, I'm like, ooh, I kinda need to dig into that a little bit. You may go lateral flexion back and forth. Say rotation really turns something on for you here. That's fine, rotate back and forth. And likewise with the extension piece. Or feel free to put all the parts together to create one entire T-spine car, which I'll demo for you now. Take a breath in, belly tight, I'm rounding forward. I'm gonna go the other way this time. I'm rotating as far as I can. I'm dipping, I'm coming up into extension, staying tight, keeping my chest proud, rotating as far as I can, dipping to this side and then rounding back to the front. That's half a rep, so you would work there and back, or maybe do two in one direction and two in the other direction to get as much movement through your upper back as you possibly can so that it's easier to hit these mobilizations and so that this isn't preventing our overhead position from being as optimal as it possibly can. Those are T-spine cars.